On the morning of Saturday, February 25th, fifth graders representing all of Lake Orion schools gathered at Walden Middle School for the 38th annual Battle of the Books competition. The students formed 27 teams and were challenged to read nine books which were revealed last November. The Orion Township Library's Youth Services staff came up with 200 questions and whittled them down to 50, asking the teams to submit the correct title and author for a possible maximum total of 100 points. We read the summer before, so we read a bunch of books and pick the top 10 books we like, and we announce the titles in November at the kickoff at the library, so they've had about three, three to four months, depending on the timing to read the books, um, uh, prepare their teams, and study for battle. It is kind of like a year-round process for them. As soon as they're done with one, they immediately have to start planning details for the next. Um, and yeah, like you said, it, it starts with title planning early on, and you know they're eventually announced in November, and several meetings, uh, virtual and otherwise, with teams throughout the process. Um, the kids make fun videos uh, to sort of, you know, yeah. Uh, present the books in fun ways throughout so it's 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 a whole long process and it looks like uh, everybody has a good time doing it a few days later on wednesday march 1st the teams arrived at lake orion high school for the finale party where the winners were revealed head of youth services ashley layman welcomed the teams and their family members then introduced the guest speaker author laura chauvin wrote the last fifth grade of emerson elementary a novel in verse that chronicles the experience of 18 students over the course of the school year. The book was one of nine titles selected to be part of this year's Battle of the Books competition. I think it's a wonderful program. I love seeing how geeked out kids get about reading and books. You know, you have to give credit to teachers and librarians who run these programs that um, having something like Battle in the, of the Books, it just gives kids an extra way to engage with reading beyond, you know, having a book that they take home and read or read in the classroom. And um, to be creative in the way that they interact with books through their costumes, their team names, um, and make it feel like a celebration, which it is. Reading is a celebration. Following the author's presentation, each team was called up on stage for photo ops and to collect a swag bag, and then the awards were handed out. Receiving the award for best team name was the Trick or Treaters, that's T-R-E-A-D-E-R-S. The award for best costume went to Sugar Sweet Readers, and the most team spirit went to Ranch Readers, which included one student dressed as a bottle of ranch dressing. Finishing in third place with 91 points was the team known as S'more Books. Coming in second with 93 points was the Rainbow Readers and named champions of the 2023 Battle of the Books with a perfect score of 100 was Team Fairy Tales from Orion Oaks Elementary. I got really excited and I started shaking and I got a stomachache when I was like, when the, the second, to, second place team got called, I was like, that means we won. And I kept telling the team that we're going to win because we got every single question right. And they're just like, well, we don't know if we spelled it right and everything. And when we found out we won, I was like, oh, my God, I got really excited. I, I, I was like shaking and I was like mentally freaking out because um, like my costume took forever and reading the books took forever. I quizzed myself and I read the books like a thousand times. And I felt really good when um, the t like a kid on a bus I'm not going to say names, but um, <laughs> they were also in Battle of the Bucks, and they said that they were going to win. But I, I felt like, I'm not really proving them wrong, but I just felt good that we won. Well, I was really happy. I couldn't even explain how happy I was. It was just kind of insane. And if the chair was alive, it, it would be dead because I was squeezing it so hard. Um, I was really excited because I couldn't really believe that we won. That's awesome. Why did you want to take part in this? Did you did you know about Battle of the Books before? Yeah, because my sister did it um, in fifth grade too, and I kind of like got involved in it, and I thought it was interesting, so I wanted to do it too. My exact words and tone of voice. <laughs> <laughs> and how did how did you spend the last few months since November preparing? Reading, just on my couch, reading. Sometimes taking a break for eating and drinking water, but other than that, just in my book. 
Now there's probably second and third and fourth graders out there who are thinking about taking part in Battle of the Books. What, would you, what advice would you give them? What would you say to them? Do it. Do it right now. It's amazing. <laughs> It's always fun when you see the kids that gravitate toward books because, you know, they're going to be future uh, customers, maybe even future librarians if we put the right spark in them. But, yeah, um, everybody finds their little niche, and um, we're happy to have kids that love books as much as they do. What do you hope they, they get out of this event? Uh, that reading is fun. That reading isn't always just an assignment. That you can find books that you, re you really like. You can find books you like that you didn't think you would like, from this program because we make them read books from a lot of different genres and different styles of books that they may not pick up on their own. And we find a lot of times the kids come back and say, oh, I never would have wrote, read that book, but I love it. It's my new favorite author. So that's the most exciting part. For more information about upcoming programs and services, visit orionlibrary.org. From Lake Orion High School, this is Joe Johnson reporting for ON TV News.